Hi, welcome back to our channel. For those who are new around here, we are Marika Nasse and we have just spent the past two and a half months traveling around the Indian Ocean's tropical island of Sri Lanka. From the pristine beaches of the south to the tea plantations of the central highlands, the mind-boggling ancient ruins up north and everything in between, we are ready to share our favorite experiences with you. So without further ado, here are our top 10 places in Sri Lanka. Number 10. Anuradhapura. Anuradhapura is at the heart of Sri Lanka's history and spirituality. As the country's first capital, this sacred city dates back to the 4th century BC, making it one of the oldest continuously inhabited cities in the world. I don't think I've ever been at a tourist attraction which is not a natural attraction without people at all. There are just a few dogs and my counted 40 monkeys. This building, when it was built, was the second biggest structure in the world, only behind the Great Pyramid of Giza, which is really impressive. Anuradhapura is a living testament to Sri Lanka's rich heritage with its ancient stupas and monasteries. The absence of other tourists allowed us to immerse ourselves in the sacred ambience of this huge historical site, and witnessing locals engage in daily worship at the restored stupas was a humbling experience. One of our favorite things to see in the ancient city was the Bodai tree, which is said to be a sapling from the original tree under which Buddha meditated for 49 days and eventually attained enlightenment. If you are visiting Sri Lanka and want to get a wee bit off the beaten path, then be sure to explore the echoes of the past in this UNESCO World Heritage Site and unravel the historical importance of Anuradhapura. Number 9. Nuwara Elia, a picturesque jewel of Sri Lanka's central highlands that is well known as the main hub for tea plantations, this charming town offers a sensory journey through rolling hills of lush greenery. Of course, no visit is complete without a trip to Pedro Tea Estate, where the art of producing the cleanest and best tea in the world comes to life. We were thinking which factory to visit and to be honest some of them are very far away but as we are staying in very early we decided to go here to Pedro Estate Tea Factory which was really close to the place we are staying and the tour is honestly so good. It cost only one year 40. It's such a lovely wee tour where we saw how they make tea, how they clean it, how they sort it, how they pack it. Unfortunately you're not allowed to film inside to keep the privacy of the workers uh, which is fair enough so you have to come here yourself to experience it and now we are getting a cup of tea as well for one year 40 for the whole experience. Nuwara Elia's enchanting landscapes and rich tea heritage make this a must visit destination in Sri Number 8 train journeys. Embark on an epic adventure through the heart of Sri Lanka with the scenic train journeys where the travel itself becomes a mesmeric attraction. One particular highlight is the breathtaking journey from Ella to Kandy. Something we noticed early on was that a lot of tourists get on the train just to go to the next station to take pictures hanging off it and then get the train back to the, the last station so uh, that was kind of funny. For us we're actually getting it to go from Ella to Noarelia so we're using it for or its proper purpose, transport. Train journeys here are not just commutes, they are visual feasts. Traverse the stunning landscapes and capture the essence of Sri Lanka's beauty from the unique vantage point of its iconic trains. Number seven. Ahaspokunya. Venture into the heart of nature with our unforgettable stay at Ahaspokunya, where luxury meets the wilderness. We spent three days in our lavish treehouse, surrounded by the untouched beauty of Sri Lanka. Each morning we embarked on exhilarating hikes, immersing ourselves in the untamed landscapes. But the magic truly unfolded at night as the rustling trees and unmistakable sounds of stomping signaled the passage of majestic wild elephants just outside our tent, making it a unique and awe-inspiring encounter with wildlife. What we seen this morning that it actually broke in and was right outside our tent. With no Wi-Fi and only four hours of electricity per day, we embraced the tranquility of nature, relishing delicious meals under the stars. Don't miss this place to share the serenity, adventure and unforgettable moments from your Ahaspakunya retreat. By the way, we have created a full video about this place, so make sure to check it out after watching this video. Number six. Ambulawawa Tower 
Discover the stunning Ambulawao Tower near Gampola and stay in Ambulawao View Inn, where hospitality and cultural harmony blend seamlessly. Our stay at this homestay was nothing short of a warm embrace. From a gracious welcome at the train station to homemade meals and took the Christ to the iconic tower, this lovely couple truly made our experience special. Now, let's talk about Ambulawao Tower itself. It really is a towering testament to unity, uniquely set celebrating five religions in its architecture. Islam, Tamil, Hindu, Christianity, and of course, Buddhism. As we ascended to the top, the panoramic views unfolded as we spiraled upwards, revealing the beauty of Sri Lanka from new heights. This tower is amazing. It's really easy to get to, and the cost is only like three euro to get to the top. And this spiral staircase is just so peculiar and really worth visiting. So don't skip this in your itinerary in Sri Lanka. Number five, Ella. Ella, nestled in the emerald hills of central Sri Lanka, stands out for its scenic beauty. From iconic landmarks like the Nine Arches Bridge and the tranquil charm of taking a walk along the railway lines, to views of the valleys surrounding Little Adam's Peak, Ella is just delightful. Our first morning began with a magical hike from Ella Town to the Nine Arches Bridge. Arriving at 6am, we were greeted by a serene landscape that was still shaking off the foggy morning dew. The bridge, an engineering marvel, spans the lush valley, creating a postcard perfect scene that is as breathtaking as it is iconic. While many venture up Little Adam's Peak for panoramic views, our stay at Ella Alpine Resort offered us a different perspective. Nestled in a comfort, the resort provided stunning views of Little Adam's Peak and the surrounding valleys, turning our meal times into a front row seat to gaze at the famous summit. So this is traditional Sri Lankan breakfast, and um, what I'm doing here is putting uh, dal curry, which is curry that's made from lentils. It's delicious on coconut roti flatbread with a little bit of coconut sambal. The coconut sambal tends to be a little bit spicy and the taste of the dal curry is so delicious. And then the roti, roti in general is good, but the roti at this place we're staying has just been unreal. So I think this is probably the best breakfast we've had in Sri Lanka. Number four, swimming with sea turtles and visiting a hatchery. Deep into the wonders of southern Sri Lanka, where Dalabalu Beach provides a perfect world beneath the waves. Our morning swims with the sea turtles were surreal encounters with these graceful creatures. Best experience around 7 a.m. to embrace the tranquility and avoid the bustling crowds. Does life get any better than this? Our gentle acquaintance with the sea turtles in the crystal clear waters of Dalawela left a lasting impression on us and is a must do for any nature enthusiast. Venturing slightly further up the southwest coast, we visited a sea turtle hatchery, a sanctuary of hope and healing. Beyond releasing adorable newborn turtles into the vast ocean, the hatchery plays a vital role in rehabilitating injured sea turtles, embodying a commitment to conservation. The indescribable feeling of swimming with sea turtles, combined with the heartwarming efforts of the hatchery to protect these majestic marine beings, really makes for an unforgettable day out along the coast. Number three, Southern Beach Hopping. Experience the coastal charm of southern Sri Lanka by hopping on a scooter and exploring the sun-kissed beach towns that paint the shoreline. From the pristine white sands of Marissa to the mesmerizing sunsets at Frog Rock, each beach town unfolds a unique chapter of this tropical island's coastal beauty. Tangali beckons with its remote tranquility, offering a serene escape, while Hikaduva's chilled vibes create a laid-back haven. For a coffee break with a view, Cactus in a Hangama steals the spot Spotlights, serving amazing coffee against the backdrop of scenic perfection. Ride the coastal breeze, discover the hidden gems, and escape the real world by hopping along the many beaches of Sri Lanka's dreamy southern coast. Number 2. Sigiria Rising majestically from the surrounding landscape, this ancient rock fortress is a harmonious blend of natural beauty and rich history. It's about 25 past 6 and the main entrance opens at half 6. We bought our tickets at the Mikit office. You get entrance to the Lion's Rock and the museum. It's $30 for foreign tourists. It's 30 cents for locals. We highly recommend embarking on the steep ascent early in the morning, a 25-minute climb that rewards you with unparalleled views.
We're at the top of Sigiri Rock having breakfast. <laughs> In terms of difficulty, we saw people of all shapes and sizes, children coming up, but maybe they'll just take a bit longer. If you're relatively fit, it's going to be an easy climb. Now you'll be sweating at the top because the stairs are very steep, but half an hour you'll be, you'll be flat. This is actually my second time in Sri Lanka and my second time in Sigiri. I heard people saying, oh, it's too expensive, but they do need money to preserve this kind of things and it's definitely worth such dollars what they think. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Apart from anything else, the view at the top is just insane. And uh, yeah, just to give an idea of uh, an ancient civilization building something on the top of that <laughs> rock is just... Ridiculous. <laughs> just to add a unique perspective, we ventured to Pidgerang Gala Rock the next morning for a sunrise experience that left us in awe. From the top of Pidgerang Gala, Sigiria unveiled its splendor in the soft morning light, creating a scene that simply takes your breath away. The hike up here takes about 15 minutes. It's actually a tougher hike than I was expecting. Not tough in terms of length, but there are certain bits that are a bit awkward. You kind of have to climb up some rocks. I would say in terms of difficulty, probably more difficult than Sigiria. Overall experience when we get up here, very busy. There was a lot of people sitting on the rock for sunrise but very beautiful and um, the view of Sigiri is unreal and the view of the sun coming up the forest and the wispy clouds coming in unreal view and a great experience but just be prepared there will be other tourists here you would think getting up at five o'clock that you might have the place to yourself but no a lot of people have that idea number one Yala National Park Claiming the top spot on our list is the exhilarating adventure at Yala National Park and the thrill of encountering Lucas the Leopard for the first time made it an unforgettable experience. Our stay at Mahura Tented Safari Camp elevated the journey with a perfect blend of luxury and wildlife immersion. The lavish tent, a sanctuary under the stars and the mouth-watering dining experience complemented the heart-pounding safaris. In the morning, Yala revealed its wonders with a symphony of wildlife. Sri Lankan elephants saltwater crocodiles, elusive leopards, water buffalo, spotted deer, wild boars and a vibrant array of exotic birds. Yala National Park and Mahur Tenta Safari Camp, a tandem that etched memories of untamed beauty and luxury in our hearts. So that's it. Those are our top 10 things to do in Sri Lanka in our opinion. And let us know in the comments what do you think and maybe you have any more recommendations because I think we'll come back to Sri Lanka one day because we absolutely absolutely loved it. By the way, we are going to be creating the full guide about this beautiful country, including all the details, transportation, hotels and stuff like that. But first, we are now back home in Ireland to celebrate Christmas and we're very excited to make a video about all the happenings around Christmas in Ireland. So make sure to keep an eye out for that one when it comes out. In the meantime, if you are planning a trip to Sri Lanka and go to any of those places we've mentioned, we know you're going to have something to remember, just like us.